Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at Polo Red. We've got a little sample here and this is what the sample looks like. It comes with a sprayer and the bottle kind of looks like this. There's not a lot of information inside the card. It says woody and spicy. So over at Fragrantica I did a little bit more research and it is classified as a woody spicy fragrance was released in 2013. Top notes are grapefruit, lemon, and cranberry. Middle notes are saffron and sage. And in the base we have woody, yeah, woody notes, amber, and coffee. And the base notes seven positives, three neutrals, and four negatives. So basically what you're gonna get with Polo Red is a warm, sweet, spicy, woodsy coffee fragrance. It's pretty nice. Um, I've seen comparisons with Versace's Eros, and I haven't smelled that one, but I do believe that one has a lot of Tonka bean in it. And I do think this fragrance does share similarities with Tonka bean fragrances. It has that same sexy, woody, spicy quality to it. And also I've seen comparisons with Rokos Man, which is another sweet coffee fragrance. So, uh, if you like sweet coffee fragrances, if you like Tonka bean fragrances, I think you will probably like this one. Uh, my only real complaint here is probably uh, it's not overly unique in my opinion. You know, you look at the notes here and you see cranberry, and uh, really, I don't think the cranberry really comes out too well. You don't see cranberry mentioned very often in fragrances. And here, I'm not really sure if I really get a true cranberry smell here, but. Uh, there is probably some fruity notes in here buried underneath all the sweet and spiciness of it all. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, let me get into some final scores here. The smell, I'll give it 8 out of 10. Perfectly fine smell. I enjoy it. Um, didn't get any compliments or complaints on it, though it work. Projection longevity, 3 to 5 hours. Seems pretty fair for that. 7 out of 10 there. Versatility, I will give it 7 out of 10. I think it's casual enough for day wear, but also warm and sweet and sexy enough for the evening uh, times as well. Uniqueness is probably the low point here, six and a half out of 10. Pretty similar to other sweet coffee or Tonka bean type fragrances. Uh, price pointing, uh, here we have 2.5 ounce bottles. Uh, you can get for 41.75 at FragranceNet. The big 4.2 ounce bottle is uh, 62.55, so about seven out of ten for price point on this fragrance. Overall, I'm going to give it a rather solid seven out of ten. Uh, pretty nice fragrance if you're into that sweet coffee kind of smell. I'm sure there's a lot of other types of sweet coffee fragrances out there. I haven't really tried all of them, so I can't really say if this is better or worse than them. But uh, I would say at least a solid seven here if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, I enjoyed wearing this one. Uh, I think it's probably a more uh, solid purchase than the Big Pony fragrances that I've recently sampled as well. So, yeah, if you like the Polo fragrances, this one's pretty good. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.